It's not been his best Grand Prix series. Um, no, definitely not, actually. But um, I think Servette is one of those people that turns up for the really big competitions. Like, if you look at Olympics, World Championships, you, can't, you can never rule him out. He always does absolutely brilliantly. But um, here, I think we could see him do very well. He's looked brilliant all day. He's looked really clever. He's looked on top of his game. And the, uh, the man from Iran is one of the reasons that, uh, as I said, the uh, competition based in Great Britain this time round. Uh, one of the reasons there are no Great Britons in tonight is this man's been through two of them himself. Yeah, um, and fair play, he's very impressive, as he, as he did beat the um, two British athletes. He's brilliant at controlling the ring, and he's also very aggressive. He's young, and he's not scared of anyone, really, and that's something that I really do admire in him. So there you can see Abel Fazl, Yagubi, and uh, Servet Tazagul. And as we said, the ranks number one for all three of the weight categories tonight are all out. And uh, a sharp, uh, a little bit of a shot, but uh, how he went? Surprised? Um, I am, I am, and I'm not. Um, uh, Ashad, at the end of the day, he is a minus 63 player. He's quite a small um, player when it comes to 68, um, but he still he uses his size quite well because he's fast. He's got good movement, and he makes the most of what he's got. But sometimes in 68, it just takes one bigger, stronger player to take you out. Well, Yagubi is the uh, bronze medalist in the World Championships in the under 63 kilogram category. Uh, so he's not exactly a nobody, but he is a, a fairly new starter, if you like, in, in terms of the, the world competition, the world scene. Yeah, definitely. I've, I've, I've not seen much of him until this year, to be honest, but he has come on leaps and bounds. He's looked absolutely brilliant all, the, all through this year. Well, let's see how brilliant he looks in three rounds of two minutes here against the reigning world under 68 kilogram category. Yeah. Oh, and uh, straight away, the Turk is uh, advancing rapidly and uh, looking to try and stamp his authority and his experience fairly early here. Yeah, you can see uh, Servet's very, clearly very aware of how aggressive um, Afawazal um, Igubi can be. And he's just straight away off the bat, he's gone for him and put the pressure right on him. So you could be just trying to hold off at the moment in these early stages. One yellow already given to uh, Yagubi. Explain, uh, Ruben, to those at home about the, the yellow and reds. Uh, so a yellow is a uh, Kyongo. So it's a, that's your first warning. It's a half warning. Um, and a red one is a Gamjun, and that's a full point. So your opponent will get a point for every red one you have. You're allowed a, t a maximum of five reds before you're disqualified. Of course, the, uh, the protective suits they're wearing, sensors within those, that's including the, uh, the head guard as well. Electronic sensors these days, modern day taekwondo. And at the moment, neither managing to register. Yeah, it's very cagey so far. Savet is definitely the one who's looking to push the pace, and you can see there he's got his reward for doing exactly that. Very attacking, but uh, you could be just trying to stay in close. There was a couple of shouts from the crowd who thought that he should have registered there, but uh, not to be. He has now. And despite uh, a minute and a half gone here, Ruben, Tazigal uh, uh, definitely the more attacking, yep. but there's not a lot in this. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, you can see from Abu Fazl Yagubi's style, he's spoiling him. Every time Savet tries to come forward, he picks up his leg and it stops Savet from really doing much. But that one time when Savet did break down through that spoil, he got that beautiful back kick, which he does so well. And uh, as you say, young man from Iran is having a tremendous 2015. That bronze medal at the Worlds is also joined by a couple of bronzes from both of the Grand Prix yeah. this season so yeah. far as well. Lovely attempt from uh, Tazigul. And the last few seconds here of the first of three two-minute rounds and a big cheer again here. And uh, well, he uh, called to a halt at the end of the two minutes and uh, well, the scoring system sets four apiece. And that's about, uh, that's about right, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think that's, that sets, this, sets us up for the second round really well. Especially with um, uh, Yagubi grabbing the um, momentum right at the end of that. It'll be interesting to see how Tibet comes out at the start of the next round, whether he starts really aggressive again. I think it'll work well for him. He just needs to watch the headshot. Well, uh, four apiece. 
that red card might come into play a little bit later on. We'll, uh, we'll see how we go with that. And, uh, of course, we can always end up in golden point territory. We'll, yeah. uh, if that does happen, we'll talk to you a little bit more about that just then. But very interesting first two minutes there, Ruben. So that very much on the attack from the start. Uh, Abel Vazel Yagubi was happy to kind of take the pressure, but, but then went on the attack himself. Yeah, um, Abel Fazl Yagubi there, he saw, you can see every time Savet comes forward, he just wants to spoil him. And you can see Savet wants to open up. And he took real great advantage of that. As soon as Savet wanted to open up, he went high with his other leg, which he hasn't done yet. So it was a great change of uh, plan there, which worked out beautifully for him to tie up the score. I don't think there's a, a style on the planet that uh, Savet Tasagal hasn't come across in his distinguished career and uh, at the moment though he's coming up against a young man who is showing no fear and uh, just picking off quality opponents as he goes along can he get a scalp here of Tazigal he's 5-4 uh, up 120 left here in the second round the last thing you want to do here Ruben is uh, count out Tazigal oh without a doubt I've seen him pull back Massive gaps, eight nine points easily in about 30 seconds. Um, he uses, he takes full advantage of all the multiple point kicks that you can do. He spins a lot, just back kicks, reverses. Um, but here, I think he just needs to keep his cool a little bit. He's getting a bit too close. He's rushing a little bit, and he's just been picked off twice. And that was a great shot by uh, Abu Fazl Yagubi. And that's a and huge again. shot. Another one from Yagubi, and the world champion. <laughs> Finds uh, himself five behind here. Another yellow card for Yagubi. And uh, as Rune was saying, he's just picking off the world champion. Yeah, he's, he's just too, he's in his distance the whole time. He's standing far too close to him. That's much better. But he's standing all the time. He's standing too close. He needs to take a bit more distance so he can go at him. But this is what he does so well. He gets people on the back foot. He gets them panicked. I'm not sure if that'll stand. Oh, nice. So, uh, it's pressure's on here. 13 5. And uh, I don't think anybody would have fancied this. Not at all. Oh, no. An attempt there from uh, Tazago. Doesn't quite connect. And uh, oh, scoring system hit 16 5. Yeah. Abel Fazl Yagubi here is doing brilliantly, he's picking him off because he can see Savet's just rushing, he's getting a bit wild. And again, oh, that's close, just after time. It's just after time. But you can see he's just picking off his headshots beautifully. World champion surviving a, a flurry of activity from Yagubi. And, uh, well, talk about an athlete competing with no fear. Yeah, um, that's that's the most impressive thing for me. Yagubi there, he gets put, put under immense pressure by uh, Savet, but he just held his own, he kept strong, he kept to his game plan, and he picked off some nice headshots, which has made made his, um, this scoreline just such a landslide at the moment. So, uh, talk us through some of these highlights, Ruben. Just some huge moments. Yeah, again, he's just get, he's just doing everything to make sure he gets his foot on that pad. It's really brilliant. But not just that, he's getting out of the way of Savet's kick as well, which is which is what's made the gap so big. One point here, and it could be over. Oh yeah, I was going to say the uh, the first strike here has to go to the man from Turkey, the world champion, Olympic champion. He must score first here, otherwise the gap will be enough to call to an end this contest. Ooh, he has 16-6, yeah. 16-7. As Ruben pointed enough, out yeah. earlier, you can see this man scoring multiple points fairly what? quickly. Oh, okay, I see what happened there. He's, so he scored the backing there and he's got the extra points. Um, but yeah, he just racks the points up so quickly. He's, he's so brilliant when he's on the front foot. Yagubi needs to keep with his game plan here and not panic. Almost half a death, Sydney has absolutely put Yagubi on the back foot in the start of this third. I said at the beginning of the second, there isn't much that this man has never seen in his career. And he has clocked the points up quicker in this round than anything you can imagine. 
He's gone from merely going out because of the 12 point yeah. rule to closing it within one here. Yeah, um, I, I can't believe what Yubi's done here. He's, he had it, he was so comfortable at the end of that round and he stepped up to the challenge, stepped up to the challenge so well with the pressure, taking the pressure and scoring his own points. But this time he's just gone on the back foot and he's just let Savet absolutely take control of the round. So, uh, and Gubi holding on now by a point and this will be interesting to see how the youngster deals with this sort of pressure he's had a big lead what will his confidence be saying to him right now because he'll have known that that has just diminished and diminished and not at a slow speed either at fairly quickly with 60 seconds left Taz Higgle could quite easily go on and score multiple hits here in this contest and if he can level it up Yagubi's in trouble, three red cards as well. Yeah, definitely, that was a brilliant point. See, this is what he had to do. He just needs to remember the earlier rounds, not the start of this round, because the only reason he fell behind at the start of this round was because he was on the back foot. When he was so confident before and so strong, he was really comfortable and scoring points at ease. Yagubi, I mean, a few issues with his discipline yeah. within, the, uh, within the sport here. 40 odd seconds left, you can see again, Tazigal is spinning around and, and ahead. trying to move Yagubi around, and that is a huge effort to put himself one ahead here. All the hard work Yagubi has shown in this contest. Oh. oh, now Tazigal took his eye off the ball, literally, and got a face full of foot. Yeah, that was a brilliant shot. He's, he, it took going behind for Yagubi to get back on his game, and that's exactly what he's doing so well before. And he's done that absolutely brilliant to get that headshot out there from such a tight distance. 20 seconds to go here in what has been an explosive and wonderful opening contest of this 2015 Manchester Taekwondo Grand Prix with the answer just over 10 seconds. Oh, he falls to the floor here. Yakubi just about evading the uh, right foot of Tazegel. What a start here. 11, 21, 19 here. He's only just got over two. 10 seconds. He's only got two Kongos left here. Oh, not back. He takes him the head. That was a brilliant back kick. That's all he had to watch out for, and I can't believe he's not done it. Well, people are on their feet all around here. Four seconds left here. Tassigal in control with just a point oh, coming in close. Oh, great punch. Well, we've got two seconds left. Scoring system says 22 apiece. Oh, well. Fantastic, <laughs> fantastic start to the night. Yeah, that was an absolute brilliant end to that um, last round there. He's swinging backwards and forwards in terms of score, um, and also swinging backwards and forwards in terms of confidence. At the start of the round, you can see Yagubi just didn't look in it at all, and that's how Tezegal got himself back in back in the game and eventually back in the lead. But um, it took going behind for Yagubi to step back up, and he's got himself into um, a golden point finish for this match. Golden point. Let's uh, let's educate those at home proven golden point in simple isn't it really yep um first to score simple as that it can be a headshot <laughs> can be a headshot can be a body shot it doesn't matter it's the first person to score all you have to do is register on the pss the protective scoring system who will be first though at the start of that third round Ruben, Abel Basel, we must have thought he'd done enough he was but as you said don't underestimate the current yeah. world champion it comes back and comes back and comes back he kept doing it actually got in front and again you do be found his rhythm and he had to do it again this is going to be an amazing don't take your eyes off this two minutes here who will score first trying to get in closer Gooby. great point great point and he's done it he's knocked out the world champion this young man is on fire what what form he's in yeah, that was a brilliant little point there. He knew exactly what he had to do. He had to get close and take advantage of the fact that Savet does rush a bit in that short distance. And he caught him very nicely with that tight little kick with his right leg. Well, he limps away and he'll uh, need to ice that. And hopefully nothing too serious when it comes to the final. But he's had two bronze medals from the Grand Prix season so far. Well, he's guaranteed at least a silver now. Yeah, definitely a step up and it's well deserved as well. That was He did very well to recompose himself because uh, at one point in that third round, I thought, he could lose it by, by, by quite a clear amount. Well, the other good thing for him is that that's a guaranteed 24 points 
in the ranking system as well towards Rio. And that's obviously a, a big part in people's mindsets at the moment. We're nearly there. I know that seems a ridiculous thing to say. We're in October, but realistic, we are nearly there. Yeah, um, with, within Taekwondo, obviously, the top six are the ones that will guaranteed spots for the Olympics. And that's only in December. And there's only one big competition left. And you need to be in the top eight to be in that competition. So points at this stage of the year, uh, absolutely massive in terms of your real qualification. Winning a, a Grand Prix will get you 40. But being a finalist will get you 24. Third place, 14.4. Uh, so uh, those point fours could come in handy at some yeah. point. <laughs> What an exciting way to get it started. Yeah, definitely. It got me really pumped up. That was a brilliant, brilliant end to the fight. Uh, I, was, I was just mostly impressed by the way that Yugubi came back into it because I thought he'd lost it completely about halfway through that third round. What might not be so good is we, uh, we discussed the next contest, the uh, second semi-final in a moment. And that's the moment, by the way, that... Uh, 